Welcome to another episode of Terry's Notes. Today we are going to be looking at writing chemical formulae. Now the valency of an element is its combining power. Now at O levels you need to learn several valencies. For example, under valency 1 we can have either cations or anions. Now when you write a chemical formula it's usually made up of two parts. It has a cation and an anion. So lithium has a valency of 1 and the symbol is Li. Sodium has a valency of 1 and the symbol is Ne. Potassium has a valency of 1 and the symbol is key, capital key. Now copper can have several valencies. Um, copper 1 has a valency of 1 and the symbol is Cu. Silver has a valency of 1 and the symbol is Ag. Hydrogen has a valency of 1 and the symbol is H. Ammonium has a valency of 1 and the symbol is NH4. In the case of the anions now, fluoride has a valency of 1 and the symbol is F. Chloride has a valency of 1 and the symbol is CL. Bromide has a valency of 1 and the symbol is BR. Iodide has a valency of 1 and the symbol is I. Hydroxide, valency of 1 and the symbol is OH. Hydrogen carbonate has a valency of 1 and the symbol is HCO3. Nitrate has a valency of 1 and the symbol is NO3. Nitrite, valency of 1 and symbol NO2. Now, when we say these are cations, we mean lithium is really Li with a little positive sign above it. Sodium is really Na plus. Potassium is K plus. Copper is Cu plus. Silver is Ag plus. In the case of ammonium, it's NH4 with a plus. So these are cations. They all have a positive charge on them and it's really plus one. In the case of the anions on this side, we write the fluoride ion is written as F minus. The chloride ion is written as Cl minus. The bromide ion is written as Br minus. Iodide is written as I minus. The hydroxide ion is written as OH minus. The hydrogen carbonate ion is written as HCO3 minus. The nitrate ion is written as NO3 minus. And the nitrite ion is written as NO2 minus. So like I said, all the cations have a positive charge. The anions have a negative charge. And all of these represent a valency of 1. Now let us look at cations and anions that have a valency of 2. We have beryllium, symbol BE. Magnesium, symbol is Mg. Calcium, the symbol is Ca. Barium, the symbol is Ba. Zinc, it is Zn. Lead 2, the symbol is Pb. Tin 2, the symbol is Sn. Iron 2, the symbol is Fe. And copper 2, the symbol is Cu. Now remember these are cations, so they have a positive charge. So we write it as B, 
e two plus because it has a valency of two. Magnesium will be Mg two plus. Calcium will be Ca two plus. Barium is Ba two plus. Zinc will be Zn two plus. Lead will be Pb two plus. Tin would be Sn two plus. Iron would be Fe two plus, and copper would be Cu two plus. In the case of the an anions, now we have the oxide ion, and the symbol is O. Sulfide, the symbol is S. Sulfate, the symbol is SO four. Sulfite. The symbol is SO3 and carbonate the symbol is CO3. So in the case of the oxide ion, we write that as O2 minus. Sulfide will be S2 minus. Sulfate will be SO4 2 minus. Sulfite will be SO3 2 minus. And carbonate will be CO3 2 minus. So notice for all of the anions and cations here, they all have a valency of plus two. Okay, in the case of a valency of three, we have boron and the symbol is B. We have aluminum, the symbol is AL. We have iron three and the symbol is FE. And because they are cations, we write boron as B three plus aluminium is al three plus and fe or iron is fe three plus and in the case of an anion we have phosphate which is po4 and therefore that is written as po three minus Lastly, we have a valency of four. We have carbon with symbol C, and we have silicon with symbol Si. Now, what I suggest is that you learn the cations and anions that have a valency of one, two, and three, and you also need to remember the symbols for these. Now, how do we write a chemical formula? Now, <coughs> suppose we wanted to write the formula of barium chloride. First thing we need to do is to write the symbol. Barium is Ba and chloride is Cl. Now the valency of barium is plus two and the valency of chloride is minus one. Now what we do, we swap the valencies when we write the formula. So we write, so the B A will correspond with the one and the chloride will correspond with the two. So write the formula as B A C L two. Now you can think of it as remember barium has a valency of plus two and chloride has a valency of minus one. Now barium has a plus two charge and it has a minus one charge. Therefore when they come what we really get is minus ions combined with one barium ion. Now suppose we want to write the formula for calcium nitrate. First thing we do, we write the symbol. So calcium is Ca. Nitrate is NO3. So calcium is Ca. The nitrate is NO3. And we swap the numbers again and we write it as Ca NO3 in brackets taken twice. Okay, now you have to be very careful with your brackets when writing formulae. So calcium is Ca2 plus and nitrate is NO3 minus. Now, because this is a plus two charge, we need two nitrate ions. So that is how you get CaNO3 taken twice. 
Suppose you want to write the formula for sodium sulfate. Write the symbol. Sodium is Na. Sulfate is SO4. Sodium has a valency of 1. And sulfate has a valency of 2. Again, we swap the valencies and write it as Na2SO4. You can also look at it as you have sodium is Na+, and sulfate is SO4 2 minus. Now, when the sodium ion reacts with the sulfate ion, you realize you have a 2, a two minus charge on the sulfate and a plus 1 charge on the sodium. It means that you're going to need two sodium ions to combine with a sulfate ion. So that's why you see Na2SO4. Now, if we wanted to write the formula for ammonium sulfate, ammonium is symbol as NH4, sulfate is SO4, the ammonium ion has a valency of 1, and the sulfate has a valency of 2. We swap the valencies again, and we end up with NH4 taken twice SO4. If we look at it as the ammonium ion has a plus 1 charge, and the sulfate has a negative 2 charge. Therefore, require two sodium ions, two ammonium ions, sorry. So that's why the formula is NH4 taken twice SO4. Now, suppose you wanted to write the formula for calcium carbonate now. The symbol for calcium is CA. The carbonate ion is CO3. The valency of calcium is 2. And the valency of the carbonate is minus 2. Therefore, <coughs> because the valency is the same for both of them, we don't have to swap anything. And the formula is CaCO3. Now, calcium is Ca2+. Plus, and carbonate is CO3, 2 minus. You have a plus 2 charge here, and you have a negative 2 charge here. Therefore, one calcium ion will combine with one carbonate ion. And that is why the formula is CaCO3. Now, we have a few questions here. Um, copper chloride gets copper 2 chloride. So, copper is Cu. Chloride is Cl. The valency of copper is 2, and the valency of chloride is 1. So, we'll have to swap the valencies. So, it'll be Ca Cu, Cl2. Ammonium chloride will be NH. Four NH, sorry, it's aluminium chloride. It's Al for aluminium and Cl for chloride. Aluminium has a valency of three and chloride has a valency of one, so we have to swap it. Swap the valencies, so it'll be AlCl3. Ammonium nitrate is NH4 for ammonium and nitrate is NO. 3. The valency of ammonium is 1 and the valency of nitrate is 1. Therefore, we don't have to do anything. So the formula for ammonium nitrate is NH4NO3. Next one is silicon chloride. Silicon is Si. Chloride is Cl. Silicon has a valency of 4 and chloride has a valency of 1. So if we swap it, we will get SiCl4. Next one is sodium sulfate. Symbol for sodium is Na. Sulfate is SO4. Sodium has a valency of 1 and sulfate has a valency of 2. So if we swap it, we will get Na2SO4. The next one is copper 2 sulfate. Copper 2, copper is symbol as Cu. Sulfate is SO4. So copper has a valency of 2 and sulfate has a valency of 2. So the formula is simply CuSO4. Now calcium hydroxide, symbol for calcium is Ca. The hydroxide is written as OH. Calcium has a valency of 2 and hydroxide has a valency of 1. So we have to swap it. So it will be CaOH taken twice. Be very careful when you have brackets. 
Next one is sodium hydrogen carbonate. Sodium is Na. Hydrogen carbonate is HCO3. And the valency of sodium is 1. And the valency of the hydrogen, hydrogen carbonate ion is also 1. So we don't need to swap anything. So it's Na, HCO3. Zinc oxide. Zinc, symbol is Zn. Oxide is O. Zinc has a valency of 2. And oxide has a valency of 2 as well. So we don't need to swap anything. So the formula is ZnO. And the last one is iron 3 sulfate. Iron, the symbol is Fe. And sulfate is SO4. And because we have a 3 here, it tells you that the valency of this iron in particular is 3. So iron is 3 and sulfate is 2. So therefore, we swap it. So it'll be, 3 will come here, and the 2 will come here. So the formula for iron 3 sulfate is Fe2SO4 taken 3 times. Now, you should practice these questions so that you understand how to write the chemical formula. Um, I have written the answers here. What you can do is write it in the form like I showed you in the previous examples. So for example, if we're looking at number 10, iron 3 sulfate, we'll have to write Fe, SO4. Fe is a symbol for iron, SO4 is a symbol for sulfate. The, va the valency for iron in this case is 3, and the valency for sulfate is 2. Therefore, we need to swap. And that's how we get Fe, 2, SO4, taken 3 times.